Let me pause for a moment to state sincerely that I have no desire to attack Catholics. I'm not a Catholic basher. I love Catholics, and I want them to know the truth. Let's set the record straight. The canons and decrees of the Council of Trent, which Vatican II reconfirmed, contain more than 100 anathemas, damning me and every evangelical Christian for our beliefs and our unwillingness to accept Catholic dogmas and authority. So who is really bashing whom? Let's face facts honestly from history and the Bible, whatever they may be. Its Pope is currently leading the greatest ecumenical movement in history in order to unite all religions under Rome's leadership. In 1986, Pope John Paul II gathered in Assisi, Italy, the leaders of the world's major religions to pray for peace. There were snake worshippers, fire worshippers, spiritists, animists, Buddhists, Muslims, Hindus, North American witch doctors. I watched in astonishment as they walked to the microphone to pray. The Pope said they were all praying to the same God and that their prayers were creating a spiritual energy that was bringing about a new climate for peace. John Paul II allowed his good friend the Dalai Lama to put the Buddha on the altar in St. Peter's Church in Assisi and with his monks to have a Buddhist worship ceremony there while Shintoists chanted and rang their bells outside. The prophesied world religion is in the process of being formed before our eyes and the Vatican is the headquarters of the movement.